Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I will be sharing with you guys my first ever skincare video in this channel, I think. So I'm very excited to share this with you guys. I waited six months para gawin tong video na to because I really wanted to observe kung paano mag-adapt yung skin ko or kung hiyang ba ako sa products na to. So I will be showing my top 5 the ordinary products since lately I have been loving their products so much and I can't wait to talk about it. But before anything else, just a little disclaimer, I'm not a medical professional or a dermatologist. So what works for me may not work for you. So it is very important to do your research before buying the products. So without further ado, let's hop right into the video. Before we start, I just want to quickly give a background about the skin type that I have. So, I have a combination to oily skin and I've suffered with acne for the longest time. Mas malala pa talaga siya before. I had really red cheeks and then acne everywhere. And it really affected my confidence to the point na ayoko na tumingin sa salamin. So, when I first started with the ordinary products, I didn't have any idea at all what those acids are. And dami daming products kasi na ino-offer ng The Ordinary. Merong alpha arbutin, lactic acid, niacinamide, and I had no clue what those things are. I had to do a lot of research about it. I watched a lot of videos kung para saan ba tong ingredients na to, kung ano ba yung magiging epekto niya sa skin, kasi baka imbes na mag-improve yung skin ko, mas lumala. It is very important to patch test first pag bumili ka ng products para malaman mo kung allergic ka ba sa kanya or hindi. Important din na alam mo what skin type you have. For example, dry skin, combination skin, para manaro mo yung options mo kung ano yung perfect para sa skin type mo. So, in my case, I wanted to adjust my acne scarring, the redness, the pores. Gusto ko i-minimize yung pores ko. So, yun lang din. Naghanap ako ng ingredients na yun yung ina-address niya. So, ayun. So, the first product that I'm gonna be showing you is my favorite the ordinary product which is the niacinamide 10% with 1% zinc. So, I'm pretty sure you've heard about this product kahit hindi sa, or sa the ordinary but sa different skincare lines or products kasi sobrang sikat ng niacinamide because it is very friendly sa skin mo and you can pair this one with other skin skincare products as well. So, niacinamide pala is a form of vitamin B B3 which helps reduce the appearance of blemishes, signs of congestion, and it visibly brightens the skin. So the other benefits of niacinamide includes it regulates oil, it treats hyperpigmentation, and it reduces fine lines and wrinkles. So overall, niacinamide locks in moisture the skin mo, which I really love. So I I used to apply this one morning and night, pero ngayon at night ko na lang siya ina apply since in the morning I apply alpha arbutin which I will be talking about later so sa gabi ko nito siya nilalagay and after ko siya ilagay sobrang lambot ng skin ko and sobrang gaan niya rin sa face this one cost 549 for 30 ml I'm not really sure kasi out of stock siya ngayon the 60 ml cost 949 pesos sa pasabay London and what I love about <laughs> Pasabay London is that in every purchase that you make, meron talaga silang freebie na binibigay sa inyo na yung mga sample na skincare. So, ayun. So, moving on to the second product we have here, the Alpha Arbutin 2% with Hyaluronic Acid, yung HA. So, ano nga ba yung Alpha Arbutin? So, Alpha Arbutin is extracted from plants such as blueberries and cranberries and it is a safe ingredient which helps brighten the skin, fades hyperpigmentation, reduces acne scarring. I also use this one as a spot treatment. So, di ba kanina sabi ko na ina-apply ko to siya every morning and at night. So, sa morning, nilalagay ko siya all over my face but at night, sinasabay ko siya with niacinamide. So, I put the niacinamide first all over my face and para sa mga acne scars or active pimples ko, ginagamit ko to siya as a spot treatment. So, dot dot lang kung saan ko need para hindi masyado sayang yung product. And hindi naman talaga siya sayang pero kailangan ko siya tipidin para makatipid din ako. Alpha Arbutin ko, 659 pesos for 30 ml. So, Ayun, sa Pasabay, London ko din to siya binili. And I've been using this product for 2 months now. And so far, 
I've been loving it. Ang bilis mawala ng mga active pimples ko. Napapalit niya talaga. And niya yeah, help to brighten up my acne scars. So, ito na yung last serum na nabili ko. This one is the Salicylic Acid 2% Solution. So, ito yung kauna-unahang the ordinary product na nabili ko. And hindi ko to siya nabili sa Pasabay, London. Kasi nung na-discover ko yung shop nila, wala na silang ganito. And I feel like discontinued na din tong product na to. Kasi sabi daw na matapang na yung ingredient nito. So, instead of SA solution, iba na SA mask na yung meron. So, hindi na ganito yung tsura niya. And hindi na rin ako bumili again. So, ano nga ba yung salicylic acid? So, salicylic acid is a beta-hydroxy acid which um, exfoliates the skin and reduces acne, blackhead. So, kaya ito yung binili ko kasi yun na yun yung gusto ko i-address sa skin ko. But then, later on, na-realize ko na hindi lang naman siya about sa pimples pala. Gusto ko din maging hydrated yung skin ko. Eh, yung salicylic acid na hydration ng skin. So, kahit naman oily ako, ayaw ko naman naging super dry yung skin ko. Gusto ko parang hydrated pa rin yung itsura niya. Ako alam ko magkano to, pero nasa around 400 ata yung bili ko nito. I'm not really sure, but I'll try to find some shops. Since we're done with the serums, let's now proceed to the toner that I use. So, I'm using this Glycomic Acid 7% Toning Solution. So, I use this one every other day. So, ginagamit ko lang to siya MWF since this one is an exfoliator and it's not good to exfoliate your skin every day kasi baka ayun, naapektuhan yung skin barrier mo. This one is known for its anti-aging properties and it is known to be a multitasker so hindi niya na in-exfoliate yung skin mo. Ano, pinapaktear niya rin and ano, binabalik yung regions ng skin mo which I really like. So, when I'm using this I'm make sure ko na hindi ko siya nilalagay sa eye area kasi ano ex ayoko naman ni exfoliate yung under eyes ko kasi manipis yung skin natin dito guys so make sure to avoid that part of your face when you when exfoliating hindi ako nag exfoliate tuwing umaga kasi lumalabas ako and mas exposed ako sa sun pag ganyan so mas ideal mag exfoliate and gamitan yung glycolic acid at night so after using that nilalagay ko yung niacinamide on top of my face and then yung alpha arbutin sa mga acne spots and okay lang naman sila ipagsabay tatlo guys walang problema yon kasi light lang naman yung mga ingredients na yan and sobrang laki niya guys and this one only cost 699 pesos so this will last you 3 months siguro and as for my moisturizer I am using this natural moisturizing factors plus hyaluronic acid so, yung 30ml na yung binili ko guys and this one cost 539 pesos. Actually, nagsisi ako but yung maliit yung hinuha ko ay yung 100ml na sa 600 plus lang naman siya. So, sobrang sising sisi ako kasi ang laki ng difference. Ayun, nagkuripot na talaga ako. Ginagamit ko lang is pea size. So, ano ba yung pea size? Ganito lang yung ginagamit ko every day. Every morning lang. Ayan. Parang ganito lang and a little goes a long way. Ayan o. Oh. Ang bilis niya lang i-blend. Thick siya tingnan, pero pag nilagay mo na siya sa skin mo, sobrang gaan talaga, promise. And wala rin siyang amoy. So that is pretty much it for my top 5 The Ordinary Products. And guys, gusto ko lang pala i-heads up kayo about skin purging. So ano nga ba yung purging? Purging refers to the temporary acne flare-up that occurs when you are introducing a new product to your routine. It's natural, nag adapt or nag adjust yung skin mo sa bagong product na nilagay mo. So it usually lasts for 2 weeks or a month. In my case, two weeks akong nag-purge. Ayan, dami kong pimples dito. So, mawawala lang yan pag nakapag-adjust na yung skin mo. Pero, malalaman mo naman siguro kung purging ba yun o allergic ka na talaga sa product. Kaya, it is very important to patch test first bago nyo siya ilagay sa face nyo. Patch test nyo dito or sa liig nyo and kung may redness na namumuo or nangangate kayo, then hindi kahiyang sa product. So, ayun. Pero if wala naman, patuloy ka lang, be consistent, kasi hindi naman makita agad yung results. Hindi, ano, pag-apply mo one week, makita mo na talaga na wala na yung acne. So, you just have to be patient, guys, and be consistent sa skincare routine mo. So, that is pretty much it for this video, mga day. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe and if you have any video suggestions for my next video don't forget to 
comment it on the comment section down below and don't forget to check Pasabay London sa description box and ayun, see you guys on my next video. Bye!